Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be selecting from many options with switch statements. Um, switch statements are definitely used. I use them less than if else statements. However, they are very useful. If you have many options to choose from, use a switch statement. A switch statement tests a value that can have many case statements which define various possible values. So a switch case. Uh, yeah. Statements are executed from the first matched case value until a break is encountered. Here's some pseudocode. So they're basically doing a switch and then they're saying the number. So say the number is one and they're saying the case that the value of one, so say this is one, then you'll do the statement and break. If it were say value two, then we do that here. And then finally, if it's a value that we don't, not un, we're unsure of, then we do this as like a final case. And then we break. So the break statement's important. Uh, case values are tested with strict equality triple equals the break triple equals just means like a, the string of three isn't the same as the uh yeah three in quotations is the string of three and then three the integer meaning you could be say like three plus three equals six would not equal if you were to use two equal signs the string of three and the number three would become equal with this one they're not the break tells javascript to stop executing statements that just means uh, break exits the function. If break is omitted, the next statement will be executed as well. Write a switch statement which tests the val and sets the answer for the following condition. One becomes alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Awesome. So in this case, um, yes, yeah, so we're just going to make, we want to write, make it so that the answer is equal to either alpha, beta, gamma, or delta. And we're just going to write a switch statement. So we'll start off with switch. And then, well, the value. So if the value is equal to the case of one, then, and then we use a colon rather than a semicolon here. We want to say, um, we want to make the answer is equal to the string alpha. And now let's test this real quick. So I'm going to go console.log and then I'm going to put in the, the uh, case and switch. And then our value, right now we want to test one to see if we see alpha here. And so alpha comes up, so that's great. <clears throat> if, if it's one, we want the alpha. Now if it's two, right now it's probably just going to be an empty string. The, the function just returns alpha string because it goes through, it says switch. And now what else, I'm forgetting something here, right? Well, let's, um, yeah, let's just, uh, let's go, I'm gonna make a mistake here on purpose. I'm not writing the break function. So if I do a case and then our second value is two, and then we want our answer to be equal to uh, beta, then we get beta if we do two. But what happens if we do one? We still get beta, but what happens is uh, we get, first off, we run through case one. Yeah, and this is wrong. If we're doing one, we should be getting alpha. And so what would ha how can we make this work? What we need to do is add the break in here, right? Because that'll make it so that, um, wait, this should return alpha. Oh yeah, so this returns alpha. And so what happened when we missed this break, what was happening is we were going into the switch statement. We were making the answer equal to alpha. But then the second one, because it wasn't, uh, we didn't add a break in here, we just added, we made the answer equal to beta like that. So we need to add that break statement in there. And then, uh, yeah, this becomes a bit of, uh, of repetitive work at this point. So in the case of it being three, we want the answer to be equal to uh, gamma and then break. And in the case of the number being four, we want the answer to be equal to delta. And then we want to break. And there we go. I think that we should have the right answer here. We're having a syntax error. Okay, cool. So if I come down here, syntax error, unknown, unexpected here. And then I look at here, it's line 14 and it's pointing at this semicolon, which should be a colon. 
And then, uh, yeah, the console log is actually not important. I just do that as a way to illustrate the points. But if we run the tests, we'll see it passes. So once again, if I were to console.log this function, uh, case in switch, and if it's one, we return alpha. So here, if it's two, we return beta, three, gamma, delta, five. It's just an empty string. Well, you see, I've set this to be empty string. Um, that was just a way for me to explain. So if we actually do five, because we haven't just set up a, a, a switch um, method, uh, a, a switch case in which we've got five or any other number other than one through four, then we're just going to get the return of an empty string or what our, whatever our initial value was here. Another thing you'll notice that I'm setting the variable a string equal to here, and then I don't actually have to use the var here. This is actually written in proper JavaScript. So anyways, hope this helped. We'll see if the tests pass. Great news. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make these videos better. We'll see you in the next video.